Leaders making sure their officers have the latest vehicles and body armor to help keep you safe. Equipment can be so important. Their police chief talked to our East Alabama reporter Reggie Kyle about the upgrades, what it means for him and for you. And Reggie's live at five with these changes, Reggie. Jonathan Rainbow City Police Chief Camp Yancey says making sure his officers are equipped to perform their jobs is all he could ask for. Rainbow City Police officers are getting new vehicles and new protection. These replace some of our cars that had been on the road for 10 years. Um, and now we can use those as, uh, as extra cars, spare cars. Um, that way if one of, uh, one of our new cars is in uh, the shop. Chief Yancey says two vehicles were ordered before he took office in September of 2022, and the department had the opportunity to acquire two more. After receiving a grant in 2023, the department decided to outfit their officers with the latest body armor for their protection. Their soft armor is rated for any pistol ammunition, and then these make it rated to where, the, to where it will take a 308 bullet. Uh, so now, if they respond to an active shooter, event, anything like that. Now our officers don't have to wait and go to their trunk and, and get a load bearing vest or, or, a, or a plate carrier. Um, they already have their plates on, on them. Working hand in hand with city officials, Chief Yancey says keeping the city safe is their common goal. Our mayor and our council is very supportive to, to getting the tools that we need uh, to do our job here at Rainbow City so we can provide that uh, that exceptional service. Within reason, just anything that I go and ask for from the mayor and the council, uh, they are very receptive, receptive as long as I can justify it for the need of our officers and our community. Now, Chief Yancey says all of his officers have this new body armor and those new vehicles are out in communities patrolling to make sure that you're safe. In Rainbow City, Reggie Kyle, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. Reggie, thank you.